Hello everybody and welcome to another general vlog video. Well, today is Monday and like I told you in yesterday's video, I'm here for my dad to have surgery. So he is in that room right there with the window missing and he's having surgery. Now we couldn't afford a regular surgery. So we did a, a cut rate surgery, kind of a buy one, get one free. No, I'm just joking. This is just, dad's back there getting ready for his surgery. And I happened to pass this old building and thought, you know, why not get out and kind of browse around a little bit? And I figured if I would like to see it, you guys might like to see it. So it's up there. It's some type of a, I don't know, kind of the looks of it. It looks like an old factory of some sort. We'll be running around on the other side. Um, let me get my gimbal real quick and get that all set up. All right, I don't know what made me think I even brought my gimbal, but I would have swore I grabbed it, but I don't find it. So the video might be a little bit shaky. So let's take a walk and look at this. I see a money symbol way up there. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that or not. Looks like it's a good three-story tall. And we're just going to kind of walk and film and see what we can see. Now over here looks like a different structure type. This would almost look like it would be lived in here, maybe at one time. Looks more like a home than a factory, or apartments more than a factory, I guess I should say. Now, I don't know anything about the area that I live in, or that I'm in, or the people that live here. But I'm, I'm not going to get too far away from the Lincoln just in case. Now I see that that door is open and yeah, I could probably go inside, but I don't have permission to go in there and with not having permission to go in there, I'm not interested in going in, but I am watching a crowd of people back here. I don't know. It looks to me like, like that would have been an entry like this may have been like some time, some type of a apartment building. Maybe attached to a factory. Maybe where the workers could live here too. And clearly I'm just, I'm making all that up because I don't know. Old bricks laying around. So if you knew what this building was, like say if your grandparents or something worked in it back in the 20s, it'd be nice to have a brick for a momentum, memento, whatever. Yeah, I think it's called a memento. Looks like all the windows are broke out. I do see uh, a little more land. I keep looking back at, at the car because I, I don't want somebody to break into the car while I'm out here looking around. Maybe we can get kind of a look. We're not going to go inside, of course. But maybe we can get some type of a look inside of here and see what's in here. Oh, look at that old cart. That's pretty cool. And no, this was some type of a factory at this end, too. See an old metal stand there. A lot of antiques. That old steel wheel metal cart looks like something out of a rail, rail, railway. There's more stuff back in there you guys can see, but I can't. Once again, I can't see what you guys are seeing. All right, so we got to look inside without actually going in, so. People, if you guys go up to an abandoned place and it's not yours, 
don't go inside once again it's not yours uh, okay well that might be why that looked like a railroad cart because there is a railroad track here aha uh -huh. see I didn't even know that awesome well I don't really want to get out of the sight of the car look at all that metal surprised somebody ain't come down here and tried to scrap that that's a lot of weight right there look at all of that so that's basically what what's going on here is this is like the shipping and receiving part and they were probably loading trains from here unfortunately I can't go on down any farther without getting out of sight of my vehicle and like I said I don't know what kind of town this is we're about an hour away from home and once again we brought dad down here to have his surgery on his eyes uh, on one of his eyes they're taking cataracts out and I am walking down here just a little bit I'm not gonna walk far I want to thank you guys for hanging out with me today while doing this this is just uh, something a little extra yeah I can't really see oh look at that big old shoot of some sort over there wow that's like major big and old looking yeah I'm just gonna keep keep walking and I think we're gonna go back to the car now and I want to take you guys and drive you around to the other side and show you um, maybe we can see that big chute as a coal chute or some type of uh, I don't know what they manufactured here you know for all we know they could have manufactured pebbles you know rocks who knows I doubt it but you never know and they've got a bunch of stuff up in through here now one thing that I did look for before I ever come here was no no trespassing signs man that's some good lumber laying there I want you to look at that right there some 2x6s, 2x8s, 2x10s, 2x12s. There's something soaked in creosote. Some type of pump or something. This is a, like a loading dock that looks like it would have come up to here. I don't think it went to the train tracks. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think it is comment down below and let me know what you think it is look at that that's a nice looking little trim board laying there I'm surprised people has not got those I want to go up and like look in that window but I don't know I've got flip-flops on of course and it doesn't look safe to me to get up in there. Just some type of an old factory. I'd love to know what it is. I'd love to know how to find out what it is. Now see that one up there? I could probably get to it. But I couldn't be able to see in it. I'm seeing a lot of glass that I actually I see now is plexiglass there's an old type of an intercom system let's see what it says private call yeah that's some type of an intercom handicap parking Well, it's a really neat looking old structure and it's huge 
that I don't know if it's showing it on camera or not, but you know, it's like this part over here looked like it might have been the main part of the factory. I'm also looking at the way that I have to pull out of here and make sure that I'm not going to be running over a lot of this glass, which a lot of it feels like plexiglass, so that's not as bad. But still a long ways away from home to have to uh, deal with a flat tire. I wouldn't like that. Yeah, this here is all boarded up, so we can't see any of it. It says business hours, 8 to 5. Ring bell for entrance assistance. That do, that bell doesn't look, or that sign, doesn't look that old. And I can see what looks like staircases and handrails up there. Oh, I see a bird up there coming out. Two of them. I don't think there's going to be any windows or anything over here we can look in. All right, so just stay with me. Um, I'm going to pause this. I'm going to drive around to the front, and I'll show you guys what else I can see. Look at that building. Isn't that beautiful? Wouldn't you just love to know what that was? What was it back in its heyday? All right. Stay with me. It'll be like one a split second for you guys and like a minute or two for me. All right. So there it is. And let me get on over here a little bit closer. Even the parking lot is not horrible. I mean, it's bad, but it's not horrible. I would say it hadn't been that long ago that they were doing something with this building. And right down there is where we used to be. Uh, although I do kind of see, maybe we could see in that. No, I don't think so. All right, so there's a couple old semis sitting here. It doesn't look like they've been moved in a long time. No tags on them. So I don't know if this is part of the business. That could maybe help date it. Oh, let's see. I was trying to see what it said on the side of that door. Who's your daddy transport? Yeah, that would just be like an individual owner operator I guess is what they call it so that doesn't really help me I can see a little bit faded on that B and W corporate no nope, that was from another state so I think we'll um, we'll go on down here and you can see this side of it I'm trying to do the best I can while I'm driving. That door there has been broke open. I, like I said, we don't have permission to go in it, so we're not going to. I know this kind of sucks me driving. Oh, look at that. Now, it says no parking on this side of the street, but I think I really want to see what all that is. So let me go down here and turn around, and we'll park on the other side of the street, and we'll kind of investigate. All right, and we are back. So, we're parked over here. We parked on the correct side of the street so we don't get in trouble. And there's a big, like a water tower up there. And I swear, it looks like somebody might have wrote beer on it. Look at all that rubble. And I don't see anything that just makes, you know, sticks right out to me what this building could have been or what this factory could have been. I know it's kind of rough seeing it behind chain link fence like that. Hard for you guys to focus and view. It looks like there might have been a building surrounding all of this right here. Now there's that big thing up there that we've seen from the railroad tracks. <clears throat> and if you look down through here, you don't understand where them railroad tracks even are. So I have no clue. But that's pretty cool looking. So I think we'll walk on down here. 
just about to them trees and stuff just to see I, I was thinking I hope I'm not disturbing anybody on the other side of the street and them come out and ask me what I'm doing and everything but I kind of almost wish that they would so maybe I could find out what this place used to be now this had a road uh, road leading up to it and it looks some type like a garage or something I hear a train. I sure do. I couldn't tell you where it's at or where it's going, but I hear a train. Oh, and looky right there. Look what we just missed. You guys see that? Can you get, can I zoom this in? Hi, buddy. See if I can't get you guys to where you can focus in. See him right there? Beautiful black and white cat. That's his home, and that's good for him. Somebody might as well get use out of it. Yeah, I heard that train. I do not see one. So it's kind of weird how come we know it's just right over there, but it must run the opposite direction that I'm thinking. And see the sign there says no parking this side of the street. So if we go on down in here, I see a little bit of a wooden, oh, pallets. I see a bunch of pallets in there. Once again, I don't want to get out too far away from the car. Looks like a pretty nice neighborhood, but you just never know. Oh, there's another road right here. See it right there in front of us? Oh, oh, I see doves. And this is kind of a high, high concrete area. Like this might've been some type of loading dock. Okay, here's your private property. Authorized personnel only. Trespassers will be prosecuted. Well, we're not going in there, so don't have to worry about that. Just kind of curious to see this is some type of like a dock area. Oh, it goes, oh, I see the train now. Okay, well, that kind of makes sense. And this concrete here, just, I don't want to go down in there because it looks like it could be somebody's driveway now. And I don't want to trespass. Like I said, on the other side, I looked really good for no trespassing signs. And if there had been any, I wouldn't have even stopped and parked over there on that side. Follow the rules, guys, follow the rules. Yeah, if you look over and through here, it's a nice looking little neighborhood. And that's the Lincoln up there. Yeah, it's, it's a nice looking little neighborhood, but you know, you never know. So I don't want to get too far. I've got the windows down. I don't want to get too far away from it. Wow. I really like these old structures. And I'm pretty sure that does say beer up there. So that's a beer tower. Oh, and our little friend, the kitty cat's gone. I must have spooked it off. Hopefully it'll come back, and I'm sure it will. Look at all that rubble there. It just looks to me like... This all might have been, the building was here at one time. And I think it's just collapsed. You can see the big parts of the brick walls there and stuff. I would assume that this was all in-housed inside of a building. And it's just tumbled. Well, I'm pretty sure it is because I see blue on the brick up there and I see blue on the brick down here. So that was the interior color. So at one time, whatever these little hoppers are here we're inside so i think that's about as far as we can go i've looked all over i seen no old sign that told me what it could have been at one time i don't really know how to do the history of it but if i ever find out anything about this whole building i will be more than glad to share it with you guys because it's pretty cool 
So, anyways, if you guys like these kind of videos, please give it a thumbs up, comment down below, like and subscribe. And once you subscribe, smash that bell notification, go all the way up to the top and click all. So you'll be notified on every single video that we publish or post. Share us on your social media pages. And follow us on Facebook under General Vlog Video. And with all that being said, just remember that when I ask you to subscribe, it's not like a magazine subscription. It's 100% free. just helps our channel grow the same way that a thumbs up helps our channel grow. Now, with all that being said, hope you guys have a great day and even better tomorrow and an awesome night. And we'll see you on the next video or next live stream. Let's zoom in on this thing right as we're leaving. You guys, please, 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 please be safe. You guys have a great day.